Thank you for joining me on another edition of Walk With Me. I'm Tyler Burgess of Eugene, Oregon, and this is my sketchbook diary of travels in France, Belgium, and Switzerland in 2016. On June 29th, I flew to Brussels, Belgium. I spent two nights nearby in the town of Ghent with my Moroccan friend Abdul Karou and his wife Greet. We had tagine and tea. I had an afternoon in Brussels to go look in the shops. One had Panama hats made in Ecuador for 125 euros each. Waffles are the big thing in Brussels, as well as Belgium candy Coubertins. My friend Abdul took the day off and we went to see the Gravenstein Castle, a fortress that's a copy of a Syrian fortress. And then I flew from Brussels down to Bordeaux, France, and stayed with a lovely family I met on Couchsurfing.com, and they made the best macaroni salad ever with Dijon mustard and mayonnaise mixed together. We went to an urban refuge to spend the night in our sleeping bags overlooking the river in this French type of uh, park setting. There's the refuge on the upper left. It's brand new. And then we had breakfast in their garden, French baguette and tea and cherries. My hostess took me to downtown Bordeaux where the pilgrim path comes through town. And then I took the train out to a little town called Thievers where I spent five nights and walked out to this country home rental. My French friend Baptiste and his American fiance Hannah were getting married. I walked the pilgrim path along here when I went into town and met another pilgrim and he told me his whole life story. We had wonderful evenings together eating dinner out in the garden and we had a day of canoeing and kayaking to a castle. I also walked out to a nearby castle built for defense, a renaissance castle called Laxion. The sculpture and guide was named David. Then I walked to Cordignac on the way to the castle. We had a lovely wedding set in the country home out in the garden. And then we had lovely flowers and um, wonderful, wonderful food. After the wedding, I flew from Bordeaux, France to Geneva, Switzerland. I, I took the train across the country to St. Gallen. It was a train headed east. And I stayed at a pilgrim herbage to pick up a pilgrim passport and I also got a guidebook for the walk that goes to Santiago, Spain. People walked across Switzerland. Many people had come from Austria or Germany. But I had walked in 2012 from Munich to Lindau, Germany and wanted to pick up the pilgrim path where I left off. I walked from Lindau, Germany around Lake Constance to Rankwell, Austria. From Rankwell, I walked to Appenzell. And you can see I'm going across the countryside here. In the summer, some of the farmers turn their cows out into the hills, clean out their bars, barns, and put in nice straw, and you can sleep in the straw, which I did two times. It was comfortable, warm and cozy. You put down a blanket, and then a pillow, and then your sleep sack.
several times I got to sleep in a cloister, which is either a monastery or a convent, where they have been providing housing and food for pilgrims for a thousand years. I happened to go by the crypt of Mother Teresa, who is in this huge, huge convent in Switzerland. I meet other pilgrims on the trail. Two people had walked from their home in Czechoslovakia, Prague, and they're going all the way to Santiago, Spain on the same path. Some people were out for a few days or 10 days or for three days. There was an interesting story of Brother Claus along here who became a hermit monk and he fasted for 20 years and gave advice to people. This is another time I slept in the straw. In the morning, the farmer and his wife invite you in to have breakfast and serve their homemade cheese from their cows and homemade butter and jams and jellies on bread. I always got up fairly early and was on the trail by 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. Sometimes it would get hot and I wanted to get out early. July 25th, I walked from Riggenberg to Merlingen. This is along Interlaken, which is the lake. Stopped at the St. Beatus Caves for a couple hours. My favorite memory was when Marguerite met me when I walked into Freiburg. She was 80 years old and riding a scooter. She took me to lunch and she invited me to spend the night with her and cooked a big dinner and invited her family to meet me. And then she had breakfast for me. It was wonderful. This Abbey our Sisters of God. It was built in 1297 and it was here when Napoleon came through the countryside so he would have seen it. This countryside I'm walking through is called the Pre-Alps because you can see the Alps in the background. And in a few days, I will go visit the Alps and do some hiking there. And I had the wonderful experience in St. Pri to stay with Sylvia and John Pierre, who had walked the Camino to Santiago and now host people, other pilgrims, who are passing by their home. On August 5th, I walked from Glan to Geneva to the cathedral and I stayed in a room for pilgrims by the church. 
It was a 350 mile walk across Switzerland and I took 26 days. It was, as you can see, wonderful. In Geneva, I took a day to rest. And on Sunday, I took the train to Zermatt, which is a small town at the base of the Matterhorn, where I spent four nights. After Zermatt, I took the train over to Gimmelwald to bask in the glory of the Eiger, the Monk, and the Jungfrau, which are those three big peaks there. I'm staying across the valley where I can look right at them. There were cable cars uh, to the hikes, and then you could walk down. And then I took the train to Martinet and going to Chamonix, France because I did the Tour de Mont Blanc which is a hike around that white mountain in France the big white one it's called this hike was 11 and a half days and it was demanding the walk across Switzerland was challenging but these mountains are demanding every night I stayed in a mountain hut I had wonderful food. It was very social. I ate dinner with a group of people. I slept in the dormitory with other people, and then we all had breakfast together. And then you could hook up with people to hike with on the trail, or you could go by yourself. It was just totally charming and beautiful country. Oh, and here was an evening we enjoyed together with some people from London and Italy. The Tour de Mont Blanc, or the hike around Mont Blanc, begins in Chamonix, France, and it goes into Italy for two nights, and then you go into Switzerland for two nights before you arrive back in France. I returned from the flight from Belgium, but I got to see my Moroccan friends one more time in Ghent, Belgium, and see their new baby who was born on my birthday. One of the nice things about traveling is coming home to friends, and I spent the night in Portland, Oregon with my friends Terry and Janice and we had dinner with Karen and Ian Nichols. In the back of my sketchbook I make a map of the United States showing places where I've lived and where my children live because people will want to know. Thank you for joining me Tyler Burgess on another show of Walk With Me.